week. And Eyewitness News reporter Ken Lemon spoke with an expert about the danger of having the birds around and what it will take to force them out. Neighbors tell me they've seen hundreds of vultures swarming along Peach Street in Shelby. I saw dozens hovering over homes, scaring pets, and making people nervous. Yeah. Just circling like in big, big packs and they're like big, big birds. It makes me feel kind of creepy. Ann McIntyre said she saw so many perched on her neighbor's home. They completely covered it. The birds normally pass through while migrating south for the winter. But an intern who has been studying the birds for the State Agriculture Service said the vultures stopped here because of the mild winter. We're just not getting cold enough to push them along. What used to be 5 to 10 birds is now going to 150 plus birds. And they'll start breeding. Oh my goodness. I'm not happy to hear that. The turkey vultures will not attack children or small animals, but they will go at the pet food and trash, and they can wreck the value of property. If I were to try to sell this house, yeah. no one would even look at it. Their droppings can discolor homes and cars, and they can rip out shingles. State agriculture agents say the vultures come to this neighborhood because of the dead trees. They prefer them. Getting rid of the old trees may be the first step in getting rid of the birds. I just wish there were some way to tell them to leave. The state forbids shooting them, but there is another way. A scarecrow made to look like a dead bird in a snare can chase away the vultures. And it kind of sends a signal to the vultures in the area that these aren't nice people. But until they get the message, more vultures are likely to come. In Shelby, I'm Ken Lemon, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.